Good day everybody, welcome back. Yes, it feels great to be able to do something artsy for a change. I have been extremely busy uh, and you will find out soon. Um, I'm introducing the new line. These are the um, transparent liquid pigments. They're not alcohol inks, okay? You can use them on their own. They give you a completely different color when you're using them on their own, on paper. Or you can mix them with any acrylic or uh, oil medium. You can mix them with resin, which is what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, and quite excited, really. So they're quite versatile. I'll probably be mixing some white with some of them just to give them that beautiful pastel kind of uh, look so uh, really exciting to be able to do something again in the studio uh, i don't know if you realize how much work it takes for one person especially when introduced i feel like i'm a bit crooked i might <laughs> anyway um so much work for one person introducing a new line uh, it's pouring those liquids, in this case liquids, into their bottles, firstly testing them and then pouring them and then designing the labels and then labeling them and then, uh, you know, like putting them out there, not one, naming them, color uh, matching, uh, that was, that just took the longest time. So anyway, um, I, I'm so sorry that I haven't been able to do it any art for quite some time but here I am okay I'm gonna really try and be more consistent with it but um, yep let's get cracking okay so I've mixed my resin I'm using a super coat platinum resin here I absolutely love this resin because it is uh, free of nasties so if you have any allergies you can use this one uh, it's quite safe to ship everywhere um, and uh, it doesn't doesn't smell it gives you plenty of working time and uh, you know it's just it's a nice consistency and it's a little bit cool here although uh, I live on the coast so it's not as cold as some areas in Australia but it's still the, the studio tends to get cold and um, you know it's a bit of a pain but uh, it's uh, it's not too bad now so I am going to continue with what I've started. So, oh my gosh, hang on a minute. I forgot about my little sticks. Uh, I'm going to need my little stirring sticks. So I'm going to have some white, okay? I, I, I just have some white here. If you are buying Larez products, you may notice that the new batch of white is a little bit on a loose side. So it's just, uh, it's still the same, just a supplier decided to, for this particular batch, add some extra um, uh, component in it, which, which made it more loose. So, but it's still, look at that, it's so pretty and gorgeous. I do want to pour that. I, I have, I've got some, oh shoot. Okay, so I've got some boards here these are mdf boards just really like thin ones great for this purpose um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to heat it up a little bit to try and dry this this has just uh, been primed but it's still a little bit wet okay so that's still not completely dry but that's all right i'm just going to be working it on on this one here for a second i can that there because I think that's all right to sit there. Um, I just got whatever two, four, six cups because I'm going to be using some some of my um, new transparent pigments. But I want to pour some of this white over because they are transparent. Okay, so I just want to get some of that white on on. On my board and I'll work on this one first I reckon and just let that sit there for a second while I'm mixing my tints 
So, okay, which one to use? This is going to be very interesting. I don't even know what theme I'm going to do. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to pick whatever. I've got uh, Deep Ocean Blue. All right, so let's pick that one. And let's go. One, two, three. Just a squirt in there. Up to 6% you can do it. And you can see how they kind of sit on top. You see that? It's just sitting on top there. Which is really interesting because I reckon that you can do some interesting effects with that. Just going to give it a bit of a stir. And it's quite deep. I think I probably even put too much in there. This is a deep ocean blue. These uh, uh, liquid pigments are so versatile. Like you can't even imagine all the things that you can do with them. And they look so different. I'll show you a little example of a certain color okay so this is this was just mixed with the easy coat um, which is a product that you use for painting walls and things it's it's a neutral color and it's still nice and shiny it's just a skin um, that uh, I just mixed it poured it on there this is with resin and this is with resin as well oh it's stuck on there so this is the actual cured so you can sort of see how different they look but sort of different but the same okay so i've got the blue it's just going to be very interesting when i pour it over that white okay that's the the deep ocean blue might go with let's see real deal now i think i want a little bit of true blue let's go true blue One. Let's do one drop just to show you the transparency. Here's one drop. It's sitting on top like that, which is great for making those really gorgeous. Oh my God! Look at that. Oh, Ooh, la la. Uh, I was going to say uh, those really gorgeous coasters that people have been making, and I've been sort of following some on on YouTube. That's one drop. Put another drop in there. They are transparent, but they're quite pigmented. That's two drops. So in a cup like this, this is uh, one ounce, 30 milliliters. So if you work out 6%, drop in there, one drop. It's really nice and transparent. I quite like it like that. But once it gets, well, we'll see what, what it looks like when it gets mixed with the, um, the white because I've got white laid out here. Uh, might even go with a bit of fuchsia. Now this uh, fuchsia, it's on a purple side. So it's more of a purple fuchsia. One drop going in. There's not a, a lot out there on YouTube about using tints. They're not dyes. But I tell you what, if you get them on your fingers, they'll they'll stain. So that's one drop. Here's another drop. Two drops here. That's really beautiful and transparent. Look at that. Four drops. Oh, five drops. That was accidental. So I've got a little bit of purple happening there as well. And I think I might want to use a little bit of molten gold as well, just to break up the colours. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I've got three of these and it's a, a totally different color. Let's go maybe um, chameleon yellow. Here you go. My friend uh, named this one and I'm always after names because I've got so many pigments and sometimes it's really hard to name them. So I'm just going to go, I might just... Go a little bit less with this one, not so much. One drop, two drops, three drops. Give it a stir. Look at that. It is just almost fluoro looking, but very transparent. So I will add some white to this one. Just a tiny little bit of white, and that will change it. I'll show you in a second. In fact, I might just add the whole thing to this white here. 
that I've got in my cup here and you will see the transformation. It's pretty just on its own. Like I said, for creating those beautiful coasters where you need um, a really nice transparent colour, it's perfect. So look at that, it's turned into a beautiful pastel. Look at that. Give it a good stir. Now I don't want to be putting this yellow next to my fuchsia because I don't want it turning it into a brown. But look at that. So that's turned almost opaque. Almost. I'll put these aside just for a second. And let's go. Can you see what I'm doing? Yep. Alright, so let's spread this around a little bit. Usually I use my, my fingers and I probably should do that now because why not? Why not? Oh, look at that. See what I mean? That stain. Now, if I put my fingers in there, that'll go onto my my white. So I'll use this finger here because that one doesn't have anything on it. And just bring it up to the side. It feels so great doing this. Oh, my goodness. It's been so long. I've got some sort of a... I don't know what that is. Oh, here you go. It's coming off, which is great. Let's get it off. And let's go. The reason why I put my white on first, because I want it to start to set a little bit. I want it to go nice and hardish. And you don't have to put the white down, but I wanted to, to show you the changes that you get when you do do that and then use your transparents okay trying to keep these well see that it's not coming off so be careful please um let's heat it a little bit that was just to pop the bubbles and here, let's go with this darkish blue which is a deep ocean blue we might make a bit of an ocean sort of scene and pop that over here you can see it I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it reacting immediately with the white. Which is kind of cool. I do want to move it around a bit. So the effects are amazing already and we haven't even done anything yet. So let's go with this lovely true blue, which is quite transparent. Don't know if you can see it, but it's quite transparent. Let's see what it does. Don't worry about this. I will lose that, but I just want to see what happens. Look at that. It's almost like a sky blue which you can use as a sky blue but we want to add a little bit of, of this beautiful fuchsia left hand Ooh. which is also quite transparent just over the top just to make it like a a bit of a fuchsia sunset type and maybe Maybe we'll put a little bit of this yellow just here because that's going to mingle in with the blue and the white and the other blue and down here as well just to give you a little bit of sunshine. And, <coughs> excuse me, I think I'm just going to use my stick here to just pull this through and create... A really cool effect and you can see that that is creating 
really nice effects and then we will hit it with some more heat as well that yellow is gorgeous with the blue bring it all the way down here and I think I might want to add a little bit more of that dark blue which is a deep ocean blue just little streams of it across here just to give it that extra bit of depth and then the heat gun Now you may have noticed that I put quite a oh while, wow, that's really nice. I put quite a bit of sort of movement in there because I wanted to create like a blurry kind of effect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some more of my Angel White and pop it in there. Give it a stir. And then create some waves now i don't want too much of the white just checking my other resin my clear resin because it's feels a bit cool so let's go with a bit of a wave just here actually we're going to go with a bit of clear first does help I'm going to go with the white right over the top of the clear or just underneath it. And then maybe another one just up here. And then another white. And then maybe my lovely torch. Just watch it do its thing, cells happening. Stuff happening. Right. So I'm pretty happy with this one. It's really kind of dreamy. I could put more white maybe up top here. Let's see. Let's get a nice thick white line. I could drizzle some sand down here to make it sandy. Let's use the heat gun now. Overall, some really, really gorgeous effects. Might put a little bit more of the yellow down here because I think that yellow is really nice. Poking, um, poking like like a little sun kind of burst. That's all you need to do. You don't want to burn your resin. Look at that. Cells are coming up straight away. And more. More cells. If you want cells. Don't want cells. Don't fiddle with it too much. So that's 
really nice. Oh, I've got some drippage, which is kind of cool. And there you have it. That's number one. I'm going to be working on this one shortly. It's still a little bit wet, but that's really nice, kind of dreamy. And you can do another coat over it if you want, or you can just leave it as, as is. It's all depends. You make a clock out of this, it will make a really awesome clock. So that's that. I will show you a close up pics of when it uh, does doing what it does. When it do well, does that make sense what I just said? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, I'll see you shortly. I'm going to do another video and I'm going to post that separately so that, uh, you know, you don't have too much all at once. So pretty exciting. Bye for now. Okay, so I did something really cool with uh, another piece and I wanted to do it here as well. All I did was I just used some uh, force with my hair dryer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more of this just here probably going to lose a lot of it so I'm going to go up a bit more but actually I might blow around the other way so that's that one I've got a tiny little bit of this one left I'll just put it across here Ta -da. and turn it around that way I might ruin it, I don't know, but we'll see. I've got some gold, and that's what I want to feature here. Straight across that beautiful fuchsia, straight across here, down here, and over there. Now, let's see what happens with the heat gun first. And I know, looks like I messed it up now, but anyway. dreamy looking and wow all the cells that are happening okay I like it I do like it now I do like it I'm gonna have to turn around this way so I can see what I'm doing because to me that's the top and that's the bottom it does look like a bit of an ocean sort of sunset scene and I like to use my stick to pull these lines and then wipe it each time. That even looks like a bit of a wave there. Let's emphasize that a bit. Just give it a little bit of shape. You can do that. You can paint with resin. It's not just all just pouring, you know. There you go. Emphasizes that a bit. Clean your stick. Maybe down here a bit. Let's mix up some more. Of the white clean my stick never double dip in your pigment it'll go solid and you won't be happy I'm telling you my cup is getting a little it's just a tiny little bit and I still got a little bit left to do another little piece but I just want to wow this looks so dreamy absolutely And you can even use a little pipette or pipette, whatever you want to call it, and just do a real beautiful detail there. But I won't. I'm just going to go like this. Carefully. Bring it out. Make sure to wipe off any of that colour. And lint. And maybe some more white over here. Just like a little um, cloud or something. And some crazy waves here, which I want to also emphasize by going like this. Pull that. We've got to have like a continuous line happening that there is looking really good I don't even want to touch that anymore it just looks so great 
here a little bit more white here just another crazy wave happening don't want any drips or drops see that there needs to be continuous needs to have a purpose to make sense you know to me that's really really dreamy I do feel that I need more white here and also a little bit more of the gold which I will do in a second and I'm going to use my heat gun and my torch it's more controlled that way <laughs> okay this is really cool okay so here we go a little bit more gold but the gold kind of disappears a little bit but um, it just shows enough just shows enough of the goldness to to the piece now again looks like it's burning but trust me it's not oh I've got some cells here so I can create more cells by doing that don't breathe this stuff in not good for you that's for sure All right, I think I'm done with this. Maybe a little bit more gold down here. And just maybe blow it over. Okay, that is enough for that one. I've got enough to do another little piece, which I will do shortly. And, uh, and then I'll, <laughs> I'll post this on YouTube. How exciting. This is really, really awesome. Really awesome. Now, me knowing me, I just want to fiddle with it a little bit more. Some of the things are running out, but that, that's all right. It's quite fine. And I've got to collect all of these drips and put them in a mold. Because I don't want to lose any of this goodness. It's all good stuff. All right. Thank you all for watching. Uh, once again, welcome back. Please like the video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It really does help move these products and, and you know, it lets me know what, what you're thinking. If you like the videos, if you want something new, something different. But uh, this is definitely something different from me. So have a great day. Bye for now.